He is known for being a Scottish philosopher and historian of the Scottish Enlightenment. He is recognized for his sympathy towards traditional societies and his criticism of commercial society. His name is Adam Ferguson. Adam Ferguson, a Scottish philosopher and historian of the Scottish Enlightenment, was a man ahead of his time. Born in the 18th century, he was known for his profound insights into society and his unique perspective on the human condition. Ferguson believed that traditional societies, like the Highlands, held valuable qualities such as courage and loyalty, which he saw lacking in the emerging commercial society of his time. He believed that this new society made men weak, dishonorable, and disconnected from their communities. Ferguson's ideas were groundbreaking and earned him the title of, the father of modern sociology. His contributions to the early development of this discipline were significant and continue to shape our understanding of society today. One of his most renowned works, the essay on the history of civil society, delved into the intricate relationship between individuals and their communities. Throughout his life, Ferguson's thoughts and teachings challenged conventional wisdom. He questioned the prevailing beliefs about progress and commercialism, highlighting the importance of traditional values and social cohesion. His ideas sparked a re-evaluation of societal norms and inspired future generations of thinkers to explore the complex dynamics of human interaction and the impact of societal structures on individual well-being. Adam Ferguson's legacy as a philosopher and sociologist endures, as his ideas continue to resonate with contemporary scholars and thinkers. His unique perspective on society serves as a reminder that individual and communal well-being are intricately linked, and that a society built solely on material wealth may ultimately erode the very essence of what makes us human. Adam Ferguson, a Scottish philosopher and historian, led a fascinating life filled with intellectual pursuits and profound insights. Born and raised in Scotland, Ferguson's education took him to prestigious institutions such as the University of Edinburgh and the University of St Andrews. His knowledge of Gaelic even earned him the position of deputy chaplain in the 43rd Regiment, despite not completing the required theological study. It is said that during the Battle of Fontenoy, Ferguson displayed remarkable bravery, refusing to leave the field despite orders to do so. This act of courage earned him the position of principal chaplain in 1746. However, his disappointment at not obtaining a living led him to leave the clergy and turn his attention towards literary pursuits. Returning to Edinburgh, Ferguson succeeded David Hume as the librarian to the Faculty of Advocates. But his true passion lay in teaching and writing. In 1759, he became a professor of natural philosophy at the University of Edinburgh, later transitioning to the chair of pneumatics and moral philosophy. It was during this time that Ferguson published his influential work, Essay on the History of Civil Society, which garnered praise and was translated into several languages. Ferguson's scholarly pursuits took him across Europe, where he had the opportunity to meet renowned thinkers like Voltaire. In 1776, he published an anonymous pamphlet expressing his views on the American Revolution, aligning himself with the British legislature. He even served as the secretary to the Carlisle Peace Commission, attempting to negotiate with the revolted colonies. Ferguson's intellectual contributions extended beyond history and politics. In 1780, he wrote a comprehensive article on history for the second edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. He also authored Principles of Moral and Political Science, a compilation of his lectures on the subject. The impact of his military experience can be seen in his writings, which offer a unique perspective. In his later years, Ferguson embarked on a journey to Italy and other European cities, seeking inspiration for a new edition of his history. He was received with great honor by learned societies, a testament to his intellect and contributions. After residing in various places, Ferguson passed away in St. Andrews in 1816, leaving behind a rich legacy of philosophical thought and historical insight. Adam Ferguson's life and work remind us of the importance of intellectual curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. His exploration of history, society, and morality offers valuable lessons for our daily lives. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, Ferguson's teachings encourage us to question, analyze, and seek understanding. By embracing his philosophy, we can develop a deeper appreciation for the intricacies of human existence and make more informed decisions in our personal and societal endeavors. Adam Ferguson, a philosopher known for his ethical system and political theories, believed that mankind is inherently social and that moral approbation is achieved through the pursuit of perfection. He sought to reconcile various moral systems by combining the principles of self-interest, universal benevolence, and mutual sympathy. However, Ferguson saw these principles as subordinate to a greater end, the pursuit of perfection. In his political writings, Ferguson drew inspiration from Montesquieu and advocated for well-regulated liberty and free government. He shared the concerns of his Republican contemporaries, fearing that the expansion of empires would erode the liberty of states. 
However, unlike many of his peers, Ferguson saw representative institutions as the solution to this problem. He believed that political representation was crucial in preventing the tyranny that could arise from an expanding state. Ferguson's ideas were met with mixed reactions from his contemporaries. While some, like Hume, recognized the importance of his writings, others criticized his speculations. Despite the differing opinions, Ferguson's emphasis on the pursuit of perfection and the value of representative institutions remain relevant today. His philosophy prompts us to consider the importance of social connections and the pursuit of moral excellence in our daily lives. By recognizing our inherent social nature and striving for personal growth, we can contribute to the betterment of society as a whole. Moreover, Ferguson's insights on the need for well-regulated liberty and political representation remind us of the importance of safeguarding our freedoms and ensuring that those in power are accountable. As Adam Ferguson once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. His words serve as a reminder that our actions and choices have consequences, and it is through the pursuit of ethical principles and the cultivation of a just society that we can shape a better future for ourselves and future generations. Adam Ferguson, a Scottish philosopher, believed in the power of empathy and the importance of civic virtues in society. In his work, An Essay on the History of Civil Society, Ferguson analyzed the shortcomings of modern commercial society and its abandonment of communal values. He argued that the ability to understand and empathize with others, what he called, fellow feeling, was not just a characteristic of human nature, but a defining feature of our species. Ferguson saw history as a combination of natural and social history, both of which were created by God. He believed that humans were progressive beings, empowered by God to pursue progress in society. However, he also acknowledged that progress could lead to a decline in virtue and ultimately result in a collapse, similar to the fall of the Roman Empire. Despite this paradox, Ferguson saw progress and human free will as part of a divine plan, where even temporary setbacks contributed to the overall movement towards a perfectible society. Influenced by classical humanism and thinkers like Tacitus, Machiavelli, and Hobbes, Ferguson emphasized the importance of laws in civilization. He believed that laws provided both security and justice, and warned against the dangers of social chaos leading to despotism. Ferguson's ideas on the role of laws and the trade-off between individual autonomy and civil liberty resonated with his contemporaries, including fellow philosophers David Hume and Adam Smith. While Smith focused on capital accumulation as the driver of growth, Ferguson believed that innovation and technical advancement were equally important. He critiqued capitalism and its tendency to make men, dastardly, going beyond Smith's analysis. Ferguson's ideas on the negative consequences of commercial society influenced philosophers like Hegel and Marx. Ferguson's work was seen as an attempt to revive the tradition of civic republican citizenship in modern Britain and had a significant impact on the ideas of republicanism held by the American founding fathers. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.